Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83, and welcome back to Let's Play White Knight Chronicles. Alright, so I uh, took some liberties off-screen here to uh, upgrade my equipment. I do have it listed in the video description. As far as the Desert Cape goes, uh, uh, that Lyriel is wearing, you can actually buy it in the jewelry shop right in front of me there. So, And the armory is right across the way there, so I just figured nah, I'll do it off-screen just to make it quicker. So, alright, let's head into the uh, pub here and uh, see if we can get any information about the mono ship. Spot the ship of theirs. How could they miss it? Indeed. How could they? <laughs> now look who just breathed in the door. She's single? Oh, no. It's not that. It's just she's so flexible. We'll attract too much attention if we move in a group. All right? Got it. All right, time to see if we can gather some information about the mono ship. And yes, in order to progress with the story, you have to talk to everybody in your shul. Answering my question. You right. could at least answer us. Yeah. Joy. And yes, viewers, Leonard is 18, so no pedophile remarks. Okay. Uh, if anybody knows anything, I'm sure the barkeep would. Yeah, but did you see it? That was the question. Uh, looks like we're not going to get any uh, info, and I guess the lady's gone, so... Yeah. Nope. Not for me. Uh, it's no good. No one's talking. Wait. Notice anything else unusual? Well, actually, it does kind of feel like we're being watched. Maybe it's just because we're strangers here.
What the? Whoa! What did I do? You. Step outside. We didn't do anything to you or your friends. What do you want with us? Hmm. Need I spell it out? Here are looks and no smarts, pretty boy. Simple. We want you dead. <sighs> Leonard, careful. She's got an ace up her sleeve. Take them out. What sleeve? I've beat up monsters a lot prettier than you. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna bother changing uh, characters. This battle is gonna be extremely quick. Well, lady, what are you gonna do now? The bodyguards are dead. Might as well surrender. Uh oh. Eldor! You sense it too. There's something very different about that woman. I see you know how to fight. Bravo. But we're not through yet. Advain. <laughs> well, she dances like a butterfly, stings like a bee. <laughs> what is that? Is that? Hey, is that another knight? No, that is a Yigas. A Yigas? A beast summoned from the magic plane. Pactica surrenders her body, and the beast's power enters her flesh. Beast and human then fuse into one. I'm still confused by all this night stuff. Don't make it worse. Figure it out later, Leonard. Right now, we need your knight. All right. Alpha Midden Yigas. No real elemental weaknesses. It'll be a quick battle anyway, but uh, she is weak to thrust, so you'll be able to do a bit more damage. Oh, wise white warrior, wielder of the ancient sword. Red be your power. Verto. We'll see who lasts. Right. Last. Usual stuff. Crossfire the legs and might start the head if you can. Honestly, it'll probably only take two uh, two hits for me to take care of her. And then blade start the rest if I can get to my turn again. completely taken over. Yigas? You made a pact with a Yigas. It was eating into your soul bit by bit. Eventually it would have consumed you completely. Yes. I remember feeling trapped. You're safe now. As for the beast you made a pact with, we dispatched it. I promise you, it'll trouble you no more. 
Thank you. I wish you would just explain. Why do all this? Our town, Albana. It was invaded by a vile group all clad in black armor. Don Fibonacci normally protects the peace here, but they paid him off and did what they wanted. Did these people in the black armor tell you to kill me? Yes. And you said, yeah, sure, just like that. No, of course not. The soldiers took my sister Lena hostage. They threatened to kill her if I didn't do what they said. And how is it you came by, Aegis? They forced me to take it. They said I must use it when I fought you. That's terrible. Hey, listen. Do you know where their monoship was headed? It was black. Anything you can tell us will help. I saw it. Oh. Really? You're sure? Of course. What do you take me for, you impudent pup? All right. Sorry. Can you tell us when this was? Just yesterday, it was this huge black ship descending toward the ruins in the south. Though I can't imagine why. Then my suspicions were right. The Magi want something at those ruins. We have to go after them. Please, take me with you. Huh? My name is Kara. I didn't do what they told me to do. My sister. They would kill her. If you are going to confront these Magi, it may be my only chance to save her. Or a second chance to try and kill us. Eldor! No! I swear I won't! Please, believe me. Mm. She'll die. You must take me with you. I beg you. Yes. I believe you. As you wish. Well, I hope things are going to be okay between Eldor and Kara. <laughs> Don't like the way he was uh, responding to her, but anyways, well, while we're here, one more thing I want to pick up. That's another uh, quest from Raimondo here. And it is called Memorial Servant. That actually has to do with those, uh, I guess, Why don't we talk to the those uh, monuments in the uh, Great Old Plain, but we'll have to do that at a later date. Alright, so, uh, sounds like we've got to head south means we'll be taking out the uh, southern part of the Legnish Desert, but I guess I'm out of time for this episode, so I guess we'll have to take care of that next time. But as always, this save point is inconveniently in the center of town. But, uh, all right, so there we go. What is it? It's uh, repair all, and then uh, call it quits. All right, so this is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.